let me get right to the punchline now. I'm a full-time wedding photographer, not because I love taking pictures or have this passion for photography, which, by the way, is this silly cliche shit that I hear every photographer say, and I think that people really need to sit down and dig a little deeper. All that stuff is a given. I'm in it because I don't have to sit in traffic on the highway each day going to some damn job that I'm supposed to love, working for other people, making them richer while faking a smile on my face, having that small talk in an elevator on the way up to an office where I'll sit for nine hours doing the same shit over and over again, day in and day out, always looking forward to a Friday, right? This, to me, is the same as being in prison. And I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just speaking from my own experience, and my gut tells me that I'm not alone in that thought. Being a full-time wedding photographer... It gives me the time and the control to do what I want with my life. It's what I call a retired lifestyle now in my 30s, yet I get paid much more than most college-educated graduates. This then becomes the number one reason I keep doing it. And the it, meaning the photography, becomes ironically second and third on the list of reasons as to why I do this as a profession. Don't get me wrong. And if you're one of my clients out there watching this and listening to this, understand I love making images for clients. And you guys, I get so excited about a fun shoot or a wedding. That's what drives me in the moment and becomes that carrot on the stick, so to speak, for me to want to do something creative and to do it to the best of my ability. But what drives me day after day, every day, has to be bigger than just that. And it is. It's the lifestyle and the other opportunities that it lends me if I so choose. This becomes my life's freedom. This no doubt goes hand in hand with time. So let me explain this a bit more. In 2010, before I officially started my business and quit my job, I took a trip and I visited with Lee Morris and Patrick Hall in Charleston, South Carolina. Now, if you don't know who they are, they are the owners and founders of F-Stoppers, which is no doubt one of the, if not the most popular photography blog in the whole world currently. And in 2010, when I was there, they were just thinking about this as a business idea. And I even helped them film one of their very first videos, the iPhone fashion shoot. Now, at this time, I was still in that 9 to 5 job that I hated, and I saw some of Lee and Patrick's behind the scenes videos and it really I was really drawn to them as people. And a few emails and a phone call later expressing how much I love them, Lee ended up inviting me to come stay with him for a period of time to talk about photography, and I even assisted him at two weddings and it helped and helped with the uh, the other projects in the video. I was so excited, and for me this was exactly what I needed. I wanted to get a taste of what the lifestyle was for another full-time wedding photographer. So anyway, long story short, I was there I think for five or six days in total. And yes, we did some work, we did the weddings, I helped him shoot the video. But you want to know what we did almost every day? We had fun. We were on his boat. Lee and Patrick loved to wakeboard. This was what they did. I think after the third day of being there, I started to realize, holy fucking shit. <laughs> This guy is living the dream. He's making money. He's shooting weddings. He has these clients and doing exactly what he wants all the time. I mean, I know of millionaires that don't even get this type of life. So that's when I decided this is what I want. Yes, photography plays a big role and you need to understand all the photography related aspects. But for me, this was the easy part. I knew that I didn't need to be the best to start my business. I just needed people to know who I was like any other lemonade stand in the neighborhood. This is basic business sense. And with time and dedication and hard work, you know, the craft, the product, the service, the photography, whatever it is, it all becomes better and better. And one day you can sit back and say, I did it. I really did it. And I did. I left that $40,000 a year job that I hated, and I've made well over a hundred grand every year since for the past eight years. I think I've grossed over a million dollars in total since then. It's crazy. Now, getting back to time and to make my real point, all of what I said was sort of the backstory. The point is, is that when you have time to do what you want, it opens you up for other things. For example, I'm able to make this audio podcast. I'm able to get in my car and go meet with a wedding vendor and discuss how I might be able to bring them some value. I can sit down and write a nice blog post on a topic. 
I can start a new business. I can make workshops. I can even become a day trader. I could take my five-year-old son to the park in the middle of the day and play with remote control trucks for hours. Whatever I want to do, technically I could because I have the time to do it. This is the most important aspect of being a full-time wedding photographer. You need to wrap your head around that. Let this become your foundation and motivation and reason to want to jump out of bed every day. Having this lifestyle is a privilege that I'm sure less than 2% of the population can even relate with on many levels. This is being a rock star and truly winning. Now, Lee and Patrick, they are very smart people, and they used this time to build F-Stoppers, which is now worth way more than any wedding business that they could have had prior. And I'm sure they're very, very proud. They had bigger financial goals in mind, and they used the time created by their wedding businesses to achieve that. They also could have been content with the money made within their wedding business and continue to spend their days out on the boat every day and do whatever it is that they love to do. In either case, there is no right or wrong. It's about being happy, and this only happens when you have the time on your side. This is where time becomes more important than money and or the saying is very true, time is money. Now, if you're listening to this and you're a full-time wedding photographer and you're thinking to yourself, Travis, what time? I'm busy as hell all the time with weddings and processing files and edits and albums and all this stuff and I never feel like uh, I have any time, then let me be the first to call you out and say, you're doing it wrong. I've seen it. I have built it, and I have lived this for the past eight years. Trust me, you are doing it all wrong. In simple terms, if I shoot a wedding on a Saturday, clients typically have their wedding back Tuesday, all done. Move on. The other four or five days of the week, I pretty much can do whatever I want. I can choose what I want to do. Do I want to have personal time? Do I want to think about other ways to get ahead in my market? Do I want to look at other creative ways to make money? What is it that I want to do? Look, if you need help with this, reach out to me one-on-one. I'll put together something for you where you can just pay me a little bit of money, and I'll hold your hand, and I'll show you the way. Do you see what I mean and understand what I'm saying? It, it's, it's not about the photography. My wedding photography business is my magic little spaceship that I can crawl into, and it takes me from one adventure to the next. I get to meet a ton of new people and be a part of some of the most incredible experiences that I can never even imagine. It allows me to be the best version of myself every day, and it affords me the time to really be happy with what I want to do with my life. It's that simple.